Now, what we're talking about is we on part seven. We're talking about the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. Morning prayer with Pastor Sean Pinder. God is able to do. Sing it with me. Just what He said He would do. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on them, church. Don't give up on God, cause He won't. Cause He won't give up on you. He's able. Sing it with me. Oh. Oh, oh, he's able, he's able. Oh, 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 sing it with me, church. God is able, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on him. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh. 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 He's able. He's able. Oh. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus Christ as we get ready to go into the word of god minister to your people strengthen your people encourage your people equip them to be able to follow the leading of the holy spirit if there is ever a time we need this teaching we need to be sensitive to the voice of the lord our god it's these days that we are living in you said my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow we give you praise bless your people this morning in Jesus name we pray someone say a good amen right there I want to take you into the book of John chapter 10 verse 4 because Jesus said he said something very powerful now what we're talking about is we on part 7 we're talking about the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. We are focusing for the last seven days on the seven different ways the Holy Spirit speaks to us. And on this morning we are talking about the still small voice of the Holy Spirit because his still small voice, it's so gentle and clear, it's easy to miss. So let's go into the book of John chapter 10 verse 4. We have to keep establishing this fact that God have given you and I the ability to hear his voice as his children. Listen to what Jesus said in John 10 verse 4. And when he puts forth his own sheep, he goes before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. That word no means to understand, to comprehend. Jesus said, the sheep follow him for they know his voice. He was talking about his relationship with the children of God. So you and I have the ability in us as born again children of God to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. It's not just for the super spiritual saints. This is for every child of God. We have seven kids. Every last one of them can understand when I talk to them. When their mom speaks to them, they can understand. So why would it be strange to you and I if we can hear the voice of God? That shouldn't be strange. It should become normal, not that we should ever take it for granted. Remember we talk about it, the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you. Well, if the Holy Spirit lives in us, if the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost lives in us, it should not be strange that they would speak to us and communicate with us. Now listen to the Word of God. Let's go to the book of 1 Kings, chapter 19, verse 11, 12, and 13. As we focus on the still small voice of the Holy Ghost, remember Elijah had just taken on the prophets of Baal 
and annihilated every last one of them and that wicked Jezebel a very demonic woman sent a demonic message to Elijah that troubled him and put him on the run and whilst Elijah was on that journey for 40 days and 40 nights something powerful happened that changed his entire life listen to what happened let's go to first Kings chapter 19 verse 11 through 13 and he said go forth this is God talking to him go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord and behold the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind tore the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord but the Lord was not in the wind and after the wind an earthquake but the Lord was not in the earthquake and after the earthquake a fire but the Lord was not in the fire and after the fire a still small voice listen to verse 13 and it was so when Elijah heard it he had the ability to hear that still small voice of the Holy Ghost when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering in of the cave and behold there came a voice unto him and said Elijah what are you doing here so Elijah was able to hear the still small voice of the Holy Spirit and receive serious instructions because later down in the same chapter we don't go focus too much on it the Holy Spirit the voice of the Lord told him go and anoint Elisha to take your place powerful stuff so the Bible talks right here about a still small voice that's the calm quiet voice of the Holy Spirit so gentle so clear and so calm that if you and I are not sensitive we will miss the voice of the Holy Spirit how many times you were about to make a decision and you just just a still small voice not too loud not too aggressive don't do it don't do it don't do it you, you don't need to do this and you argue back think about it you argue back with that voice and then the decision you make it had serious consequences we all made those mistakes that was the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking to you communicating with you warning you trying to bring direction into your life and every time we brush that aside oh there's a price to pay I've been there done that I'm not trying to do it again are you listening to me and how many times you just knew you that still quiet voice do it you should do this you should do it and you did it and the job worked out the loan worked out you got the house because you listened to the still small voice that was the voice of the Holy Ghost speaking to you communicating with you oh glory to God I feel this this morning listen to this I want to take you over to the book of Acts chapter 13 verses 2 through 4 Acts 13 verses 2 through 4 the Bible says as they ministered to the Lord and fasted the Holy Ghost said separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them and when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them they sent them away so they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost departed unto Seleucia and from there they sailed to Cyprus listen it was the Holy Spirit who gave Paul and Barnabas direction on where to go next and their ministry was great it was successful they had their trials and tribulations but they overcame all their problems mighty mighty God now I want to point something out here because there is things that you and I can do to make us more sensitive to the still small voice of the Holy Spirit listen notice what the Bible says in Acts 13 verses 2 through 4 the Bible says as they ministered 
to the Lord and fasted. What it means by they ministered to the Lord. They were worshiping him. They were loving him. They were magnifying him. They were glorifying him. They were giving him the glory. They were giving him the honor. They were giving him the praise. It might have been something like this. For you are great. Come on, sing it with me. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Come on, just sing it for a few more minutes. There is no one else like you. For you are great, mighty God. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Listen, so as they ministered to the Lord, they were worshiping. They were just worshiping God. Not only were they worshiping and ministering to him, but they fasted. They had turned their plates upside down. And in that type of atmosphere, where they're praying, they're ministering to the Lord, they're fasting, it brings us to a place where we are more, the flesh is subdued. Quietness come over our flesh. And now we can, we are much more sensitive. We can hear him clearly. It's not a coincidence that it said, as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them and the Bible says and when they had fasted and prayed they laid their hands on them and sent them away so listen fasting praying spending quality time with God alone in worship prayer and praise it causes us to become more sensitive to the Holy Spirit because we are swept right out of the arena of the flesh into the arena of the spirit. That's why the Bible says, come into his presence with singing. That's why on our broadcast, you notice we worship. Why am I doing it? We are worshiping God because we love him with all of our hearts. But we are also applying spiritual principles. We are worshiping God to subdue the flesh, to get you in the spirit. Because it's when you are in the spirit, you can hear the voice of God. The word of God is more rich. The word of God is more real. You know, Jesus said in John chapter 6, verse 63, he said, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And this is why before I read my Bible in the mornings, I worship God. I, I got worship there. I'm worshiping him. I'm thanking him. I'm loving on him. I'm adoring him. Why? Because I'm doing that to, to love him for real, but to also come into his presence where I can hear his voice. Because when you come into the presence of God, you are so much more sensitive rather than just running in the room. Oh God, I need this. I need that. And then you're done with your prayer. Are you kidding me? Give me a break. It's growing up time. I, I, are you serious about your walk with God or not? Do you really want to be led by the Holy Ghost? There's a price to pay. That's why turn the television off. It's a bunch of garbage on there. Why are you going to listen to a bunch of sinners filling your head up with garbage and junk? All of those type of stuff. It desensitizes us to the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's why you're getting grieved watching that. that that's filth. Just turn it off. Don't listen to that garbage demonic music. Don't listen to it. Why? Because it clogs your spiritual sensitivity up. And then you expect to just hear God when the trial comes. No, you're watching the junk all along. All along. You're watching the garbage. You're filling your head up with just foolishness. And now you need to hear God and you can't hear him. Because God is not a game. It's not a joke. He's not a spare tire. He wants a relationship with you. The Bible says, come out from among them and be separate. Not that you think you are better. God expects more from us. So you can make, you, you can make yourself, you can train your spirit man to be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit by fasting and praying, seeking God, studying the Word of God, meditating on the Word of God, being a part of anointed worship services, listening to anointed broadcasts, 
listening to our broadcast, other great men and women of God, listen to their broadcast. As you listen to it, as you worship with anointed worship singers, it brings you into the presence of God. That's why when you put that worship music on, you didn't plan on it, all of a sudden your hands are up. Tears are coming down your face. You're just crying and weeping and bawling, pouring your heart out to Him. Keep doing it. Don't stop. You're on to something. You're on to something. I'm talking to somebody this morning. You're on to something. The Holy Ghost is leading you. The Holy Ghost is directing you. The Holy Ghost is ordering your steps. Keep doing what you're doing. You're growing. You're getting deeper in God. You're getting stronger in God. You're becoming more sensitive to the still small voice of the Holy Ghost. That's why the enemy is one to all of a sudden get you so busy. Everybody wants you now. Everyone wants to ring your phone off the hook. Everyone wants to knock on your door. The devil is a liar. It's time to shut the world out and get alone with God. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is Satanabasata. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the noise and pestilence. He will cover us with His feathers and under His wings we will trust His truth his word will be our shield and buckler. A thousand will fall at our side and ten thousand on our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Glory to God. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hey, I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing of God. I feel the anointing. Listen, we want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed into the ministry, into the kingdom of God, to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. PayPal dot me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the Ministry Zell account. The Ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. And for tax purposes, you must email us your name and mailing address. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. The Ministry Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder ministries you can also mail your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to sean pinder ministries p.o box 2726 mckinney texas 75070 never forget me and my beautiful wife pastor amy we love you we appreciate you we believe in god with you for your miracle for your breakthrough and for your turnaround Tune in again on tomorrow morning for another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you. Bye-bye.